What's up guys, King's Reaper here. So in our last episode, we did some quests. So we finished the quest for Mr. Prepor, and we finished another quest for Therapist. So we did the water quest and we did the marking quest. So we marked all four fuel trucks. And in this episode, I'll be trying to push level 10 as fast as possible. Not only because I'll unlock flea market, but I'll also be able to do some more quests. So without any further ado, let's hit our first raid of the day. So I spawned again near the dorms and I hit all the stashes, pushed a bit forward. When all of a sudden, a player was there. And he was no longer there. So after sitting here for a couple of seconds, just looking out if there's going to be somebody else here, if somebody else is going to come, I decided to go and loot his body. So I gave it probably a good two minutes or so, three minutes. Usually when people hear gunshots, they start rushing. So I rushed to his body, started looting. And there was somebody else there. He was going through the stash. I knew I had to wait. I waited him out. He would come out eventually. And he did. But unfortunately, my scope was zooming in too much and I couldn't see him clearly. And he ran away. Well, back to looting. Or so I thought. Well, unfortunately he survived, so the only logical thing to do is run like a chicken. I quickly checked what the other guy had in his inventory and waited again a little bit in this bush just because I wasn't sure what the other player was going to do and I was feeling too exposed sitting in the same place that I shot from. It's always smart to change your position after you take the first shot or two, three shots because that way nobody's gonna know where you are. And just as I thought it was all over, So this dude takes two M61 bullets into his chest and doesn't die. Well, that was fun. So after trying to play around this guy for a bit, I changed the position again. I went across into the bushes and again, there was yet another player walking around me. I decided to play it softly, gently, silently. I was just waiting for opportunity to see him. He was still here. Just waiting. And he makes a move. But so does the fifth player on the... Oh my lord. So many players in the same spot. 
But anyways, after that, I decided to go out, check for a few more stashes and stuff, and extracted successfully. Now in this raid, we didn't do much, we didn't solve any quests, so it was time for yet another raid. This raid, I spawned near the old gas station and looped around, checked some stashes, checked item spawns, but nothing of real value came in. And just a sitting scav. So it was time to loop around and go through the back entrance. And that right there is the reason why I decided to move into this direction. There was a lot of gunfire going on near me, so I wanted to investigate. And kill another scab. So after killing scavs, I picked up all the loot that I wanted from them. Checked up the shelves. Went for the other body. There was another toss that we still need for a quest. And then I went across the wall. And I played the fuel tanks or gas tanks, I'm not sure what they are, water tanks. And heard some movement around me. Oh, now I know exactly where he is. That sound just gave him away. He was looking through the weapon case in that building. He used the metal stairs to get up there. All of a sudden, there were two. At this point, I didn't know if they were teammates or no, so I decided to take it slow and safe. Because all I know, they could be a teammate. And there was one of them. And there was the second one. Oh, those panic shots. He was still alive. Well and alive. Well, we wouldn't. We couldn't say healthy, but alive. But I had to worry about another player as well. And of course, exactly when I start shooting on him. Oh, I hate it. He shot me right in my gut when I started shooting and of course it flicked my aim. So I had to heal up fast. There were two players. It was clear to me at this point that they weren't together. But still I was in a pinch between two players so... I had to move quick, I had to fall back. To heal up, to get some meds. Maybe even reload the gun. Hello mister. Reload the gun. No? Okay. And again. Healing bug. I couldn't heal anymore at this point. So I was checking if any of those two players were trying to push me. But they did not. It's always good to move left, right, forwards, backwards, because if you're a static target, you're just gonna get one tapped into your head. So I didn't feel comfortable anymore in this position, so I decided to run back across the wall. And of course, that player was trying to push me exactly at that point when I was pushing back. Now I wasn't sure if that was another player running alongside the wall or the same one. But I still had to move back.
I know he would peek me eventually. He's gonna try to climb the hill and peek over the wall to get an easy shot. But I had other plans. I used the slope to get a high ground advantage as well. There he was. And yeah, of course, I had to press space instead of alt. That's just great. So by hitting alt, you stop breathing or hold breath with your character so you can aim straight. But unfortunately, I pressed space. Now it was a game of cat and mouse. Who's gonna get who first? From which angle? Seems like I got him. But still, that was not the end. Because if you remember, there was two players. I didn't know where the first one was, and since this one pushed so far... I thought to myself, okay, they might be a team. I'm not sure. I Maybe I killed the other player. I never checked behind the car. I tried to shoot him through the window, but did the shot land? I don't know. So after taking slow approach, I decided to push back into the second area where I originally was, where I started fighting them. I healed up because eventually the bug went away. And I was slowly pushing to see if the other player is still here or no. After picking up the loot from this guy. I had to check if the other player was dead. Or did he get away or was he actually flanking me. Since I didn't hear anyone approaching. I felt safe enough to take my time to loot. Sort my inventory out. Decide what I'm gonna take. So unfortunately, the other player was still alive, he wasn't killed. Because if he was, there would be a body behind the car, but I didn't want to deal with him anymore. I just wanted to start pushing towards the extract, because I was still in the spawn area. And of course, this passage is probably the worst passage you can ever take. Exactly my emotions after that round. But you know what, guys? That's right, we were finally level 10, so I used that sweet, sweet flea market to sell all the stuff that I can. Oh god, the profits. Ugh, love it. That was my cue. Mm. And now it was also time to buy my favorite gun, the SKS with silencer and a scope. Because I like playing like a rat from bushes, just waiting for someone to come into my view. Mm. Gotta love it. So after I got my sniper rifle ready, it was time for another raid. In this raid we spawned again on the east side of the map, I checked some stashes and just as I was pushing towards the other side of the map there was a lot of fighting going on, grenades flying everywhere. So I had to check this stash as well. Nothing extreme, just a few items. So I pushed a bit further away along the wall of the bus stop when all of a sudden I heard someone running. And there he was. Shall not pass! 
Exactly, the Gandalf told him. And this dude was loaded. My first encounter after getting level 10, and it's a level 40 dude with SA25 with full gear. Love it. Well, shit, there was somebody else. Even though I waited up to see if he's gonna come, if, if he had a friend, if he had someone with him. Nobody came and just as I was running away, somebody was there. But luckily I'm alive and well. So I decided again to wait a little bit to see if that player is gonna push after me. I used that time to go through his stash, through his inventory to see what he had. And yeah, he was quite loaded. So after not encountering that player anymore, I slowly went to exit and extracted successfully. After the extraction, I used some time to organize my inventory once again. I know, it's kind of annoying, and if you're a new player, you'll be annoyed as well. Especially if you buy a standard edition, you're gonna have so little space. But anyways, guys, it was time to go into another raid. And when I got this spawn, I knew exactly what to do. I just rushed along the shore to pick up a player that's gonna be running across the river. So usually play, people all may, almost always use immediately the land bridge. And I love taking this path because just like, like you can see right now. Using the land bridge immediately is not a good idea. Because if I'm running a sniper on this map and if I spawn on the shoreline, I'll just pick you off. Okay, sometimes you'll miss, but... Usually you'll catch a player immediately trying to get across the river and you can pick him off easily. Now there's another player who heard my shot. So I had to sneak forward to see if anyone's there. And yes, he peeked, but only for a second. So I had to wait a little bit longer to see if he's gonna push or no, but obviously this player decided not to push any further. He probably used the land bridge or the high bridge, not sure, but he never came back. And just as I thought I was done, I looked across to see yet another player running. But due to my poorly judged aim, I missed all my shots. So I had to wait him out a little bit longer. And yet again, I missed. I had to wait just a bit longer because he had to push away from those pipes again. But interestingly enough, my bullets missed again. And this is the point where I realized what was the problem. I didn't level my optics, I didn't set it to 100 meters. So after having that small encounters, I went back to check the stashes and jackets. And boy oh boy was I happy to see that key. Now that key is worth alone 750,000 on flea market. So I went across to check some more stashes. Kill some scavs. You know, just, just chilling, running around, killing people, killing scavs. And there was somebody else. So I flanked around the building to see what it was, and it was a scav. Now since I did shoot, I wanted to take some cover or hide a little bit into the bush 
just to see if somebody is going to push me immediately or no. And luckily, nobody pushed. So I decided to go back and get rid of that scav. Interestingly enough, my aim was still worse than ever. I missed my shot on 5 meters distance. So after killing those calves, I checked some of the stashes, went alongside towards the exit. Somebody was desperately trying to get my loot. The problem was, I couldn't see him. I didn't see him. I didn't know where he was. So I quickly healed up my wound. And searched for him, but I still couldn't find him. I still couldn't see him. Where the hell was this guy? So my best bet was to run uphill because I'm gonna have this little ditch to hide so he couldn't see me anymore. I pushed a bit more forwards trying to find this guy and all of a sudden somebody else found him. So now I had another player to worry about. So after looking around and not managing to see anyone or find anyone I went to the body of the first guy that was initially shooting on me, searched his pockets to be well surprised with the green gunpowder and with fuel tank or full canister of fuel. So after organizing my inventory, picking up the stuff that I want, it was time to leave this raid. So I used again the long side, checked no, actually, I didn't check the stashes. I just went exactly for the exit. So anyway, guys, this episode was more PvP focused. Unfortunately, I didn't do many quests this time. But in the next episode, I'll be trying to solve again as many quests as possible. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please like it, subscribe, hit that notification button. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.